So I have a favorite scientific law because of course I do, you know, thanks to everyone on TikTok who's pointed out the resemblance. But this is my favorite law, not because it's uh, particularly beautiful or elegant or because of what it explains. This is my favorite law because of what it's called, the zeroth law of thermodynamics. Yes, you heard that right, the zeroth, as in like the third, the second, the first, and then the zeroth. Why on earth do we have something called the zeroth law? So the first three laws of thermodynamics explain how heat and energy moves through the universe. These laws describe things like, you know, how you can't just create energy that you have to get it from somewhere. And they explain why, you know, heat travels from hot to cold, really important stuff. So scientists were like, yes, this is the stuff. Carve it in stone, we're done. And then someone said, all this math, for all these laws actually uh, uses temperature. It's like, yeah, temperature, of course. Did we ever define what temperature is? It's temperature, you know, like temperature. But did we ever write that down? And then everyone looked at the laws of thermodynamics and they were like, oh shit, we never wrote it down. And since everything depended on that definition of temperature, it really needed to be stated first, but because they'd already used one in their numbering scheme, they just went one less than one, then zero. So they called it the zeroth law of thermodynamics, which is incredibly human and relatable. Like who amongst us has not forgotten to, you know, attach an attachment to an email or who has not, you know, forgotten to write their name on a resume or accidentally driven home from the grocery store without your spouse? Who has not forgotten the most important part of the task that you're doing? I, I just love that this oversight, this, this human fallibility is now forever encoded in one of our most important scientific laws. The zeroth law of thermodynamics, my favorite scientific law.